Oh yes. I also happened to watch UFC 258 um, main event featuring Kamaru Usman versus Gilbert Burns. Um, a very, very, very entertaining fight. Um, I think I mentioned it prior. I think I was reading a couple articles on it and it's just the thing I love about MMA, right? The thing I personally love about UFC is the fact that, you know, of course Dana White has all these faults, you know, the fact that the fighters don't get compensated as much as they should do. The fact that he kind of rules it in a kind of cowboyish way is really not beneficial to the fighters. He has his favorites and all that sort of stuff. It can get a little bit dark when you really look into the stuff that goes on behind the scenes at the UFC. But the one thing you can't deny is that the matchmakers do a really good job at making sure whoever's the best face the best in each division there is no gimmies there is no easy run to titles and champions sorry um to uh belts there is no easy way to challenging for those belts there's no easy way to break into the top 10 the top five you really have to earn your right to be in the octagon with some of the best fighters in your division you have to earn it no way no doubt and the moment you earn it is the moment you get an opportunity and when you get the opportunity you have to take it with two hands and and what you like to see is that you get to see somebody like Gilbert Burns smash through who he smashed through on his way to the title um, contention. And then you get to see Kamaru Usman, you know, defend his belt against who he defended his belt against. And then you get to see both of them fight in Octagon with that knowledge that you know that they're both elite level, right? It's, which is very, very different to what you'd expect from boxing because boxing obviously you know they've got the issue with the promoters and stuff it makes it hard to kind of put matches together and a lot of people have their records padded because it's really the importance on having a kind of um, undefeated record in boxing is probably overstated more so than it is in UFC um so you you're never really sure if the person you're f you're kind of watching is actually sh facing the best in class you're not really sure you're just obviously watching the person because you want to watch them but you know you only have to look at Deontay Wilder and see how his career has kind of come crumbling down the moment he had to face somebody um halfway decent um but in UFC they're constantly getting t tested and I think Kamar Usman got tested in the biggest way possible. That first round from Gilbert Burns was sensational. Clipped him with the right hand, I think around minute something, 120 or something, right on the temple. Um, Kamar Usman's legs started going up from him behind him, underneath him. So he composed himself, somehow managed to, you know, um, get his bearings back and going, and then survived that onslaught. And then started the second round really strong and essentially ended up finishing it with a TKO. Um, towards the middle of the second round, I'm going to say second round or third. Just sensational to watch. And again, this is somebody who is most specifically known as a wrestler, most specifically known as a grappler. So if you know that somebody having kind of elite ground game is now come back for the you know assistance of Coach Whitman with is like Chris boxing like that jab that he was throwing at Gilbert Burns was there was some meat in that jab made some real 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 power it was literally knocking his head back so much so that that one jab I think when he switched stance actually ended up you know flooring him which led to um, um, Kamaru Usman going for the ground and pound and essentially finishing it with TKOs it was just with them um, with punches on the floor like absolutely sensational for. Performance and and again a proper championship performance i think you don't become champion without having your bell rung a couple of times and i think the fact that he's leg wobbled underneath him and kind of maybe pissed someone like myself being a bit of an amateur and a bit of a casual watching it from afar you'd think oh shit he's definitely gonna lose now but championship level fighters don't do that right they find a way to kind of compose themselves gather their thoughts get their legs back underneath their shoulders and just center themselves somehow and i think he mentioned it even in a fight in a post-match reaction he mentioned how oh, that kind of woke him up. That kind of let him know, oh, you're into a fight here. Gilbert's no joke. He's coming to take your belt. He wants what you have. And um, yeah, just Kamara Usman ended up just, you know, uh, getting himself back together again. Just kind of snuffing. What, what I saw it as, right? It's him just snuffing Gilbert, Gilbert Burns' scandal. Like just, he just snuffed it out. In a in a couple of rounds, it was sensational to watch, man. What a great performance! Um, and again, it goes to show just how great these guys are at this level. Because Gilbert Burns faced again the only heartbreaking bit about it is or Gilbert Burns at the end crying. Um, and uh, you know a lot of it probably had to do with him maybe realizing that oh, this guy I used to train with, this guy that we kind of came up with together, he's just another level from what I remember him from being before, and that must be such a 
um, frustrating thing to kind of reconcile as a fighter, right? You've done everything right. You've eaten right. You slept right. You've trained. You've done everything you can to make sure that you are at the peak physical and mental conditioning to step into the octagon and make, you know, and challenge for the title. And then the person that you used to face in, you know, in training, who you think you might have his number and you think you might, you know, have a chance of beating him. You don't think, you know, you know it deep down. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I can beat this guy. I know he can, I, I've seen his best in the gym. But then he turns up to the octagon under the bright lights and he's a different beast. He's turned into, number one, a fierce competitor and also a much better fighter than you remember him to be. And it's just like, can you close that gap? That's the question. Like I've could be proved most people couldn't close the gap, right? He just kept getting better and better and people just couldn't close that gap until he just ended up retiring because there was not much competition left for him to face. And I guess that's probably part of the reason why Gilbert Burns was just overcome with emotion, just thinking, what can I do? How am I going to ever, ever, you know, uh, get this guy when he's this good, right? Like he's improved this much from the time that I knew him. Like, how am I ever going to get back at that level again? It must be such a hard thing to kind of, um, you know, come to grips with in your head if you're a fighter. Like, damn, man, this guy's really performed better than I ever imagined he would do. But again, man, excellent, excellent performance. Um, big up Kamara Usman. Survives an early scare, finishes Gilbert Burns with a barrage of punch in the UFC 258 main event. Absolutely amazing fight to watch from the outside, I have to admit. Definitely amazing fight to watch.